Well, here at Community Fellowship Church, the doors are open for in-person services, but it's going to look a little different. This is uncharted territory for everyone. To navigate through this time, Pastor Paul Woodburn says his church is taking active measures. We're disinfect the entire room in between services and then as well just really encouraging people to wear masks. They're also seating at 50% capacity, blocking off every other row in the sanctuary. Also asking that there are two empty seats between different families. We tried to balance out the risk and reward of when is it going to be safe to get together uh, versus how long is too long to not meet. So we tried to balance that and decided that we would follow the governor's lead. On a typical Sunday, the church's congregation can average 120 people. That number lowered to 40 people by the beginning of March. That's when they switched to providing services virtually. I heard a lot of comments that people actually felt more connected because we were talking more often with one another over Zoom. So in a sense, uh, it was better and we want to continue to do that. He's encouraging people, especially those who are in the at risk population or do not feel safe to stay home where you'll still be able to watch their services through YouTube or Facebook. People either feel like we're taking it too seriously or not seriously enough. And we want people to know that we are doing our best to follow the social distancing guidelines. Now, not every church in Indiana is holding in-person services, and while the government is allowing this, it's still suggesting that, if possible, to continue remote services. Powell Cyril, WCPO 9 News.